Changing the print head is a very simple procedure, but you will want to practice it. This is the print head right here. It's made of ceramic and it's very brittle. Now, if you're not careful, the print head can shatter and cut your fingers. To remove the print head, first you have to pry off the cable clip as we did before, like this. Then using needle nose pliers, you want to gently pull the head carrier toward you, toward the front of the printer, and with your fingers, pull the head upward carefully and slide it out of the carrier. Okay, here's what the print head actually looks like. A little piece of brittle ceramic. Now suppose I couldn't have gotten this print head out by pulling it from the carrier with my fingers. I'll put it back in and show you another way. Stand the chassis on end. Carefully push the head out of the carrier with a screwdriver. Of course, replacing the print head is just the reverse. I'll want to go ahead and finish removing the print head. And I'll wind the paper down just a bit because you want to make sure the platen, or this piece right here, is properly seated and pushed back. And then slide the new head in with the edge connector, or this side right here toward the bottom, and the white side facing toward you. Now, if you can see this little black dot, or this black head right here when you're inserting the print head, then you know you're putting it in backwards. This spot of black material is what does the writing, so it must be toward the paper. Okay? With our needle nose pliers, we'll gently pull the carrier back and very gently insert the print head. Push it down carefully into the carrier until it's seated against the little plastic stop on the inside. Now, you don't want to force the head into the carrier. It should slide in with minimum effort, and you should be able to insert it with your fingers. If it resists being easily inserted, then try a different head. And remember, be especially careful not to shear off the small plastic head stop at the bottom of the carrier. It's time for you to practice removing and replacing the print head. So stop the videotape, eject without rewinding, go back to your workstation, and when you can do these skills smoothly, come on back and watch the next segment. Thank you.